Let the people of God sound the alarm. Lift up your voice. Cry out to the Lord. Show. We need a holy visitation. From the village in times ministry. That's right. The channel is The Village 70 on YouTube. The email The Village 7970 at yahoo.com. That's me. And I have this brand new sign here. And I have postcards and cards that I want to send out to people. So I have a postcard. It's our lovely, beautiful picture. And I'm giving these to people and letting them know that they need to store up for the time that's coming. And um, But I came on today with a special... I guess I see a lot of people doing shout-outs to other, other, uh, other websites and um, YouTube channels. And they're doing these special contests and everything like that. But I have something for you. I am, as you can tell, very spiritual. Um, I'm a Christian. Um, or should I say, I have a personal relationship with God. And I'm a Christ-like person, a disciple of the Most High God and His Son, Jesus Uh of Nazareth, the Christ. That is what I am. And so I follow his heart. And I disciple based on him and his book, the Bible. The, the uh, real Bible, the, the Jesus Bible, the, the King James Bible. All right. There's other translations I don't get into all of that or whatever. I go by the one that I grew up with. Alright, so just a little, that's just a little background where I'm coming from. Because I'm, I'm really vexed right now. I'm really vexed. And I'm going to tell you why. Because where I work at, as I'm sure, me, well, I'm on the spiritual side, but I'm also a prepper. Okay, that's why I threw, that's why I started throwing in, aka the Jesus Prepper. Okay, my home, my name is Big Laz, your big homie, because Lazarus was a personal friend of Jesus, so I feel like that's what I am. Um, so that's my street name, Big Laz. Um, call me the Jesus Prepper if you want to do that. That's cool. Uh, even though I'm a Jesus Prepper, I'm I'm, I'm down to earth. I get along with everyone. Because you know what? I take everybody for who they are. I can get along with anybody. And I mean almost anybody. Alright, so you got the Jesus, it's the spiritual side, but then you also got the prepper side. And lately I've been focusing on the prepper side, trying to get myself stored up, trying to get my, my silver and gold, trying to get my uh, extra food stored. I'm trying to learn new skills because I'm not very handy at depth. Where I work at, I work with paper. Work with paper. So I'm kind of a paper paper pusher. Um, and my hands are soft. So I don't work with the ground. So I got to learn all these skills that I'm going to need in the time in which <laughs> everything's going to have to be done by hand. I'm at a disadvantage, so I pop on that YouTube, the other prepper channels, and I learn things. I'm learning how to even, you know, I, I call myself like a baby chef. Like in another world, I probably went to culinary school or something like that. But I'm sitting on here watching videos. One of my favorite channels is the Food Network. So I'm sitting on here watching on videos, and I'm just enthralled with this one shout out to her. Queen's Cabinet. Oh my gosh, she's awesome. And she's in my area. So I done learned a new store to go to. I done know some new products to get. 
I learned how to make bread. I bought all this, you know, um, prepping. And I figured, like, I don't know how to make bread right now, but I better get some just in case. So I got all this wheat and sugar and um, cornmeal mix and stuff like that. Now I know how to make tortillas and bread, and she's doing some sourdough thing I'm learning about. Awesome. You know what I mean? I'm totally enthralled with that. Like, every day I come over to work, I want to see what she done made. Okay, now she's doing this vegetable protein junk that's supposed to taste like hamburger meat. I'm seeing this and believing it, so I'm going to have to try that one before I believe that. But, um, hey, she said it was pretty good, so, I, you know. I never tried it before, so and I'm going to go get me a can of that stuff uh, out of the store. However, the reason why I'm coming on here right now at umpteen o'clock in the morning, the reason, <laughs> the reason why I'm coming on is because I am vexed. I am vexed. I'm literally saddened in my heart. Why? Because I love people. And here's the thing. Many people are still asleep and they're being fooled and they're being deceived every single day. And when I talk to people being awake, as I talk to people and know that they are not awake and to hear some of the crazy stuff they say, those daggone Democrats, those daggone Republicans, blah, 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 talking about stuff they have no idea what they're talking about. Just, just drinking the Kool-Aid. Just drinking the Kool-Aid. It, 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 like, I want to tell them so bad. But I have learned opening my mouth to tell them too soon or too much at a time turns them away and makes them think that I am crazy or some kind of conspiracy theorist or nut job or something like that. And I am far from a nut job. Okay? I'm very funny and I like to act a little bit crazy, but far from a nut job, okay? Now, this is this is where the vexing comes. I when I do, you know, catch somebody one on one and I wanna talk to them or whatever, and I'm talking about people like I feel in my spirit, like Christian. I feel this person. They're a nice person, you know, hey, they're not a butt. So, like, I don't want them to crash and burn in the upcoming economic collapse. So, you know, I holler at them. Hey, listen, are you prepared for the upcoming economic collapse? What are you talking about, Lauren? What are you talking about, Big L? Well, this is what I'm talking about. Um, These things are happening. Have you noticed that the... And, you know, the price of food has gone up, blah, 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 blah. You know, the whole, you know, prepping scenarios of why we're doing this and what are the reasons that we're involved with this whole economic collapse. Okay, so I go into it. I tell them, hey, look, you're going to want to buy some gold or silver. You're going to want to start prepping and getting tangible items. You want to start getting out of debt. You want to start learning tangible skills. You want to learn how to make fire. You want to get these things and store them up. Lighting, uh, fuel, uh, water, uh, this, uh, that. All of these things. Okay, You want to do all those things. What is it for? To hedge yourself against the upcoming economic collapse. Now, why am I back? Because this is what I run up to. Remember, I feel like these people might be nice. They may be Christians. I can share my faith with them. I can share the 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 forewarning of the prepper idea. Because what I am in the spirit over here, you're called a prepper. But in the spirit world, what I am is a watchman. I stand on the watchtower. I come before the main body of whatever is coming. I come before. I stand on the tower. I look in the far distance. I see. I survey. And then, when I see, when I notice a change, 
I turn around and tell the people, hey, such and such is happening. The British are coming. The Indians are attacking the fort. I'm Jeremiah. Hey, you know, I'm warning. So I come as a warning to people. But more and more and more in this this crazy world that we live in, nobody actually trusts in God. They only trust in what they believe. Now they read this somewhere. Well, I, I did this today. I talked to somebody and they said, well, God is going to keep me. And, you know, he said that he would always provide for me. Yes. God said he would always provide with you. He said he would never leave or forsake you. He said uh, he would give you abundance. But what I want to get across to people is God is tangible. God is a doer. God said, don't just be a hearer of the word also be a doer so if you're sitting back and you're waiting for God to throw down the hedge of protection around you he will do that but you also have to do your part I'm all about faith so I'm glad you have that kind of faith but faith is an action word faith is belief based on fact. Okay? These things happen to me every day for the last 12 days. So I have faith that they work. I am sitting in a chair. I have faith that this chair will hold my weight up. So when I walk to a chair, based on the last 50 times that I walked up to the chair, I have faith that that chair will hold my weight. Now, if you walked up to it and cut the legs off the chair between that much left of wood, and I sit down and I bust my faith, my faith, my butt, um, my faith might wane. But based on the last 50 times, I might have faith that that was only a, 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 an aberration. Because 19,000 times I sat in a chair, it held up. But this one time it fell. So I, I have faith that that was just an aberration. But my point is, God is an action word person. He's all about now. And he's all about action. So I need you people to just not sit back and be like, well, God's going to protect me. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he also said two-thirds of the people are going to die. Do you want to be one of the two-thirds? And don't give me, well, if I die, then I'll just be dead and up in heaven with, with, with Jesus. Yes, you will. But I, I surmise to you, you're going to heaven, and you'll be with the Most High God, but you're going to be scrubbing shoes of the people that come in. You're going to be in heaven shoe scrubber. Okay? Your crown, your, your crown is not going to be encrusted you like the 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 story of the 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 uh, servant um, that the um, the master gave the uh, the tap the the oh my God what is it that he gave them money and told them to hold it for him and one went out and doubled the money and one came back and only had. One or one went out and five times made money five times over what he did. One came back and had had a hundred times worth what he did, and the other came back and had dug a hole and put it in there, and they brought it back and had the same amount. And he told that person that that you know I'm I'm pissed with you, and the and the and the servant was like why, and he said because you didn't do anything. You just took my money that I entrusted with you. You left it in the ground to bring it back. You were lazy. You didn't do nothing. So yeah, you go to heaven. You're my. You're. You're. I still love you. You're. You're. Um. You're still 
on my side. I still love you, but you're lazy. So guess what? You're going to get the lazy crown.